Hi everyone, Joe from Wizard here, and welcome back to the official Wizard YouTube channel, where you can find out about all the latest wizarding news and updates. Today we're going to do a walkthrough and show you how Wizard can transform your workflow to make design faster, easier and more accessible than ever before. Let's jump right in. To get started, we can click Create New Project. Here we have the option to start a project with a bit of AI magic, more on that later. We can start a project from scratch, or you can select one of our pre-made design templates to kick things off. Templates are a great way to save time and get inspiration, and here at Wizard we're always adding new templates to the library. Wizard has templates for web, tablet and mobile, and each template comes with all the must-have screens and UI design components baked in. Let's click on a template and take a look around. Before we jump into any editing, let's get a feel for the layout of the app. At its heart, Wizard is an easy to use drag and drop editor and has been tailor made for rapid and collaborative workflows. Over here on the left, you can navigate through Wizard's pre made template components library, where you can add shapes, text blocks, or drag and drop images, buttons, and icons. Over here on the right, you can find the design tools, screen management, notes, and settings. And when we click on a design component, we get our design menu, which allows us to change the size, layout, or style of any individual element on the page. This includes things like changing the alignment or font of text, changing the size and position of images, or changing the style of visual components like buttons or icons. Now before you start editing your project, you might want to invite your colleagues for some real-time collaboration. All I have to do is click on the sharing button in the top right hand corner and type in the email address of the person I want to invite to my project. And then I can decide if I want to give them edit access or just invite them to view my project and leave comments. Ok, enough talk, let's take a look at starting a project from scratch. Navigate to the Create screen, select Mobile and click Start from scratch. I'm instantly greeted with a clean, blank screen to help bring my ideas to life. You can drag in navigation bars, add in image blocks, drop in text components, and create new screens with the click of a button. Ok, let's rewind a little bit. As we all know, blank page syndrome can be a huge blocker of your productivity and success. That's where AI can help. With Wizard, you can scan a screenshot and turn it into an editable mockup in seconds. Here I'm uploading a landing page from the Wizard site for some quick and easy editing. Alternatively, you can upload your hand-drawn wireframes and digitise them in seconds if you prefer ideating with paper and pencil. This makes iteration and ideation faster than ever before. If you're really feeling stuck for ideas, then Wizard has a few more tricks up its sleeve. With Wizard Auto Designer, you can generate a multi-screen design from a simple text prompt. Just type in an idea and let AI do the rest. This feature will be available for Wizard Pro users only, so sign up today to get access to the feature. Ok, so you've opened a template, scanned in a wireframe or uploaded a screenshot, but what's next? Wizard has everything you need to create, edit and iterate your design, as well as work across varying levels of fidelity. Here we have an e-commerce store for web, but I want to add a new screen for a block. All I need to do is click add new screen and I can either scan in another screenshot or wireframe or add a completely blank screen. To populate my new page with content, I can explore Wizard's components library and drop in pre-made blocks, or I can manually add in specific elements such as text blocks, images and icons. So let's create a blog page using a mix of wizard components, specific elements, and support this with a sprinkle of AI magic. First we copy and paste the navbar from another page to keep the design consistent across the entire project. Then we add in a component block for blog categories, add in a blog feed, and then we can add in specific elements such as a heading and a load more CTA, and update the text to make it relevant. Now this new page isn't exactly on brand for an e-commerce store that sells plants, so let's make some use of Wizard's magical features to get it really going. We can update images using the Suggest button. We can update placeholder text using Text Assistant. Or we can visit the magic section of the side navigation to really get things moving. In the magic tab you'll find Wizard's core AI features including Wizard Auto Designer, Wizard Screenshot and Wizard Wireframe. But there are a number of supplementary tools to really support your workflow. For example, you can update the entire theme of your project using Theme Generator. Manually select your colour palette or upload a screenshot or paste in a URL to generate a theme. Wizard also has wireframe mode which allows you to switch between low and medium fidelity. 
and image generator to create images from text prompts alone. With Wizard, you can even take a sneak peek at where your prospective user's attention will be drawn when navigating your design. Simply select your screen and click the Focus Predictor button to get an instant analysis of your project. Once you're happy with your project, it's time to add some interactions to demonstrate your user journeys. As we started with the template, some interactions are already in place. Simply select the Interact button on the right hand side to view these. Now let's connect our newly created blog mockup to the rest of the prototype. First, let's add a link to the main nav of the homepage. Now let's add an interaction from the homepage to the new blog page. And why not add in a return interaction using the brand logo? We can even update the animations for these interactions in the design menu. Once we're happy with our design, we can now click on the preview button to explore the clickable prototype we've just created. Once your project is ready, you can export, share and gather feedback from teammates or external stakeholders. You can export your project as a PNG, a JPEG or a PDF. Or you can also send out a share link by clicking on the share CTA in the corner. From this menu, you can also copy and embed code, which allows you to embed your clickable prototype elsewhere on the web. Of course, you and your team can comment and keep the conversation inside of Wizard. To do so, just click on the Notes tab and then click exactly where you'd like to leave feedback. Kickstart a conversation with a summary of the work you've done or wait for feedback to roll in once you've invited colleagues to work on your project collaboratively. Feedback and iteration has never been easier. If you want to know more about the world of UI design, then head over to the official Wizard blog or subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more Wizardy content coming your way soon. Have a magical day!